What do you do with the European banks? How much do you worry that negative rates will actually crush them? Yeah, absolutely. That's really the key question we're looking at. And uh, U.S. banks are very, I mean, fortunate or very thoughtful to have a very large capital market uh, branches that actually done really, really well for them, in, uh, particularly in this quarter. And uh, the other very kind of clear strengths of U.S. Uh, banks that could tap in was uh, U.S. consumer. So if we look, look across Europe, uh, capital market uh, branches are kind of businesses are quite a lot smaller proportion of European banks and European consumer is somewhat better than European corporates but still not as strong as US, US consumer so I would probably say there is not much read across in terms of a very positive sentiment towards but, banks. Maria, it feels like 2020 is going to be the, the year, right? I'm not saying decade, yeah. maybe for, for your Europe in general and on valuations. Do you agree? Uh, I mean, in general, I've... Uh, came to, on this program for maybe a year and a half and talked about growth stocks trampling uh, value. So I'm still in, in that camp. We still believe that strong fundamentals are more important than underlying valuation in the world with very low interest rates, sluggish growth, that the kind of the trend for quality and growth will persist. Uh, having said that, uh, I mean, it's kind of a level... Le level and change game for us is that U.S. by far is uh, the strongest market, the strongest fundamentals, highest margin, highest return on equity, highest buybacks, highest everything, while Europe is quite a lot further down. Should there be any change in global economic environment, and it looks like maybe we are bottoming, the kind of delta for Europe is massive. So Europe can be kind of a star performer. Marietje, you have one of the most optimistic notes I have seen that this will continue. You look like a genius in the last two weeks. <laughs> Everybody's been caught flat-footed, even relative optimists, on how this market has done. I'm going to give you a phrase, which is trees to the sky. How close are we to trees to the sky? Yes, close. We, we are in the sky, no question about it. And I mean, I have constant debate with my actually fixed income colleagues who keep telling do. me that stocks are stocks are very expensive. I mean, that's probably quite ironic coming, coming from fixed income uh, specialists, but here, here we go. Yes, stocks are expensive. And that goes exactly back to the point I just made, is that valuation is stretched. And they're stretched in pretty much every risk asset. Why they're stretched? Because central banks are repressing interest rates and pushing investors to take more risk. And there is kind of no way around it. And the uh, right. calendar has changed. Mm -hmm fundamentals haven't. So we were very optimistic last year and we remain very okay. optimistic this year. 